Right, let's get it. Yo, welcome back, guys. You've looked on this video because you can see I lost the quote. Job, estimate, whatever you want to call it. So we're talking about the job. This is the thumbnail that I used. Am I ripping off the customer? It, as of current recording time, it has 36,000 views, just shy of 500 comments from, I'd say mostly Sparks, other trades, and the odd avid viewer. If there's a lot of cut shots in this, I do apologize. We have a guy with a hammer outside getting a dent out of a car. So you'll hear me go in and out and cut around a bit. So the consensus from the video that I put out, uh, it was a rewind, it was a local one. Uh, the price I'd priced at originally, it was like 15 grand-ish. I'll put the price up here, plus the VAT. Uh, 64 down lights, 54, can't remember off the top of my head. 49 uh, double sockets, a vast array of outside light, LED tiles, black, it was actually black matte, it wasn't black nickel. I got confused with the, the text. And um, it was way out of their budget. And I was like, yep, cool, we can rejig, rethink, and we had a bit of a play. So I put my uh, influencer cap on, as cringy as that is, spoke to different wholesalers, different brands, and was getting these products for free for the customer, for a sponsored video where I could win the job, I'll still do it, I will film it, I will then give links and provide stuff for the sponsors, that sort of thing. It's the way I can utilize my online presence that I've made over the past four years to um, win jobs, get stuff for free, do sponsor stuff. There's a variety of things I can do, and if it helps me win the job, it helps the customer get the job ch cheaper, and on top of it, it, and it gets these sponsored views and clicks over to their products, everyone's a winner. So that's what I did. I went out, reached, branched out, spoke to a lot of different people and got quite a substantial amount of materials for free. We're talking the sockets, we're talking the down lights, we're talking some of the cable, which brought the price down quite a lot, as you can imagine. Requoted, re-estimated, whatever you want to call it. And then the new price was 12,700, including that, for what is essentially exactly the same job, but with obviously materials for free. Customer was made fully aware of all of this. Uh, they were happy. And unfortunately, to my knowledge, when we'd spoken on the phone, like I put a little bit of a text saying I've won the job, was confirmation through a phone call to say, perfect, yeah. And I was just waiting for that box to be ticked on my Tradeify app to say, you know, it's locked in now, we can start ordering the goods. I can start asking all these sponsors to start sending the stuff over ready for the job. And unfortunately, that wasn't the case. That box was left unticked for a couple of days. And then concerns start to grow in the back of your head thinking, hmm, What's going on here? And I've openly said to everyone, whenever I quote, always get other quotations in and estimates in to see how we sit compared to everyone else. And the best thing that I think I've done, there's two ways of looking at this. Two, I've done the video, we all quoted it together, and the consensus is I was absolutely bang on or I was too cheap for what I was, quote, for what I was quoting. So I thought, well, from watching the video, I thought, I've nailed this, you know. 12 years of experience of, of winning and losing jobs and quoting and this and that and backwards and forwards with customers, I think I've got it on the head here. I think I've, I've perfected it and I seem to be, on average, bang on. That was promising watching the video and seeing all the comments. Yeah, to then speak to the customer and say they've accepted someone else's price was like, oh, and it was good in. It was, not only because like, obviously it's money, puts food on the table, blah, 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 pays out and this, that and the other. I was just really looking forward to it. I like doing rewires. It was local. Um, obviously, we had to chase the existing house, but the new extension there was no plaster, there was no ceilings. It was just clip direct stuff. It would have been a doddle for us on that part, and then we get our hands dirty with the chasing. And I was really looking forward. I just I like this sort of stuff. And there's not any, I don't think there's any malice or anything between me and the customer. I, like I said to you guys in the video before, I've known of them for years. I wish them all the best with it. There's no anger. It was like, ugh, gutting. It was going, it's, it is what it is. Uh, you win some, you lose some, and that's business for you. And we all need to learn that. If you haven't learned that yet, you're gonna learn that very soon. And I've learned it about 100 times or so, so mint. The purpose of this video is, what got me, not angry, not anything like that. I would say concerned, worried, um, baffled would probably be the word I'd use instantly. So what I gathered from the text are the specs are the same, because we, we messaged back and forth a few times, a customer had told me I'd lost the job, uh, someone else has had it. I was like, oh, got it, never mind, okay. Um, I am not willing to drop my price any lower uh, than it already went to. There's only so much of free stuff I could get, and um, like I said in the previous video, we know what we want to earn, we know our worth. I think if I'd have gone anything lower than that, I'd have been doing myself a disservice, uh, to be completely honest. So I was like, okay, can you just give me some details, is it the same spec, price, you know, that sort of stuff, just so I can go in my head, oh, fair enough, it's a thousand pound cheaper, then someone could easily go in a thousand pound cheaper if they're not back registered. Very simple. Not the case. 
Not the case at all. So my lowest price was £12,700 and it was £6,000 cheaper than that. So they were quoting 6,000, I would say around the seven grand mark for what essentially is a two house rewire. Like I said, the house and the, the new house. And, and I was absolutely baffled to how someone could, I wouldn't say undercut me, but come in with a price at that. If you're not that registered, yes, you can knock off 1,500, 1,700 quid straight away. Uh, but for the same spec, I, I just have no idea. And I'd like you guys to let me know below how you think it would be physically possible other than not a spark doing it I don't know, I'm, I, I would, it's a difficult conversation to talk about because we're all out there to make money, we're all out there to know our worth, we're all out there to get a nice job and get it done well to the best standard, which I know we would have done. You guys know that. We had so many nice comments saying, you know, if they had the chance to have us there, they know it would be bang on and all the people we worked for before could say the same, hopefully. But it was, it was just gutting. It really was gutting to hear that someone could go in with that price to my knowledge for the same spec, I just wanted to share that with you. And then the next conversation I want to talk about was, um, was Artisan. I'm not throwing Jordan under bus here. I like Jordan and I like the lads that work for him. And there was a TikTok going around. I think I saw it on TikTok, but he did it on YouTube and everything. Uh, they'd quoted for a job. And from the comment section from what I saw, it was a two bedroom flat. And Jordan put a price in, or Artisan. It wasn't Jordan, Jordan doesn't do the price, it's someone else and it was £30,000 for a two bedroom flat rewire. And they, accept, they didn't accept, obviously, because it was a lot, a lot of money. And the prices differ, like I said, I'm in Stafford, prices differ massively compared to Cambridge and London and all that sort of stuff. And they didn't get the job, but then they got the ring back to go and sort the job out. So someone else did it for 10 grand. And to even me, 10 grand for a two bedroom flat rewire is immense. It's, it's just extortionate for around here. So to try and figure that in your head. So he was 20 grand difference and they got a call back to go and fix it. And I'm not saying that maybe this person who was rewiring this other house and I'm gonna get a phone call to come fix it. I really don't hope that's the case. I hope they do a cracking job and I hope the customer gets exactly what they wanted and there's no extra add-ons or hidden costs or cheaper fittings or not the right things fitted that was initially quoted for. But everyone out there needs to understand as well, when you put a quote or an estimate in and it's written down and they have a paper copy, it will most of the time get passed around to other uh, people you're quoting against to copy the spec to go in cheaper. I've gone to that many rewires where someone's given me a previous quotation and gone, oh yeah, this is what this guy quoted. And I've gone, brilliant. Because it's great to work off. It's great. To, I like to see how they do it, not the price. I just like to see the layout, how they explain it. Do they bullet point it? Do they literally just write a list of stuff? You know, what are their terms and conditions? Are they going to replaster it? There's so many different things that people do so many different ways. I enjoy seeing other people's quotes so I can learn and make mine better. It's always a learning curve. Everyone's, there's, everyone's trying to one-up themselves, but I just want my customer to look at mine and go, right, it's really clear and simple to read. We've got breakdown per room. We know what, exactly what we're having. And it just make it understandable for everyone. Most of the time, I think if the quote is really simple to read, you break down all the rooms, I think you are in with a better chance of winning that compared to a confusing quotation that the customer can't understand or something which is just sloppy and just bullet points but that's my opinion. But yeah, I don't know if this was passed to this guy and or woman or company, I don't know who it is. Um, and this is the problem I have now with putting price and stuff out online is the local people to me can easily undercut me by watching the videos and go, Nick is very local to me because it's a very local firm because the house is very local to me as well. Could have easily watched that video, done the quote two days later, figured out what I went in at and undercut me. And that's a rod from my own back from doing this to showing you guys of how I do stuff, which I want to and I will continue to. If I lose a couple more rewires, I lose a couple more. My kids will just go hungry. Please let me know in the comment section below if you've experienced this sort of thing, uh, being undercutted, undercut massively. Not like a grand, and I'm, we're talking a massive chunk, half the job, a third realistically. You've lost by a third. Um, and then you have concerns whether or not the job's going to be done properly, if they're using the right materials. Like you say, if there's any add-ons that's going to appear out of nowhere. Hopefully for them, and I hand on heart, hope everything goes really smoothly. I don't get a phone call. The people do exactly what they said in the tin. They get paid what they asked for, and jobs are good. And I can drive past that house and look at it and go, banging job, looks wicked. Happy for them. Because genuinely I am. I'm not annoyed. I'm more like, how? How has someone managed to... To come in with a price like that, when I have realistically 500 people 
500 people online agreeing with me. And I've not sent this over to the customer. I've not gone, oh, well, I've had 500 people agreeing with me online. You must pick me. I'm not doing YouTube for that. I'm not going to go to customers and go, oh, this is that and this is that. And I agree with me to win the job. If you don't want me to do it and the budget is way over yours, then that's fine. I, I, I accept that. I've learned that with older age and the wisdom I've, uh, I've gathered from all of these things all merged together, which has created this. I get it now. I'm barely angry any. The only person I'm angry at is a person outside with a hammer, which I keep having to stop for, which he's going to lose very soon if he carries on. But anyway, back to Jordan. It's like I put the hat on again. Um, I understand high overheads, and I'm not, please don't think I'm slagging Jordan off here. And I expect Jordan to watch this and go, brilliant. P different companies have such different overheads. I don't have a lot. My most expensive thing I have to pay for, other than my house, is this place. Adam, then this place. So my overheads are tiny compared to employing six, seven, eight people to run a business. That's why I don't. I don't want the stress to grow a massive business, to have to employ loads of people, to earn loads of money, to go out and do loads of quotes all the time, to sit in front of this or a computer all day with stuff that I dislike and don't want to do. I'd rather be on the tools, doing stuff I enjoy, occasionally wa waving a camera around. This is what I enjoy. I won't become a millionaire off it and I won't be able to sell my business for a couple of million. I'm not interested. I like what I do every day. I wake up with a smile, go to bed sometimes with a smile. I'm not quite sure yet, but that is the difference when people get 30 grand for a rewire. There's a reason for it. They're good at what they do. The area is completely different. That up here, you'd be laughed out the door, probably stoned to death if you gave someone a quote like that around here, but it's all comparable to where you are. So please remember that when you start slagging other people off online or commenting silly things like, <laughs> I mean, I did laugh when I saw it, but it's a different kettle of fish compared to up here. I mean, I didn't realize Jordan actually used gold cable. So that makes sense why the price is so much. Anyway, get out there, smash their estimates in with a smile on your face. Hit the like button, absolutely. Subscribe if you haven't. We're nearly at 100K, guys. As of recording right now, we're about 15,000 off. 15,000 of you beautiful people out there, hit that subscribe button. Let's get me a plaque. Let's do a cool video. Let's have a night out. Avenger. I've not celebrated any real milestones yet until 100k. I probably will. I might have a beer or two. Maybe. Maybe have a pina colada. Not sure. I don't know what that is, but it sounds nice. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care now. Bye bye then.